Hey, welcome. My name is Randy and you're watching Life on a Manitoba Farm. We are a farm in southeastern Manitoba and we raise beef cattle. In this video, uh, it's uh, a mix of uh, chores and uh, bolting down the head gasket on an international tractor and replacing another wheel bearing on the Impala and later on in the video there's a baby calf that has been born on the farm. So anyways I am uh, went to go feed the cows this morning I dropped the wire at the bale grazing and uh, the cows didn't find it so it's a bit in, in a bit of an awkward spot there. Got a little bit of snow yesterday it kind of blew up I should take the snow blower and blow it out of here but uh, I don't really want to. That means getting up with the, the tractor and uh, if it was a little bit warmer maybe I would do it but uh, I'm not gonna bother. We, go, we need to go see the cows. They haven't found the hay. There's Pupi. I don't like him going in front of the truck like that because what happens if he slips and he gets in the back I'm gonna put him in the back of the truck. Come on Pupi. Yuppie, that'll do. That'll do. Get the back of the truck. Up in the truck. Up in the truck. Up up. Let's just do this here. So I got all the cows that are out right now. They're looking for food. We still have, uh, I gave them feed this morning, but they haven't found it. We're gonna try this this morning. They gotta get out over there where those four bales are all by themselves there. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, I'm gonna see if I can call them in. Follow me. I'm not sure if they will or not. Uh, we'll see. You usually get the cows from the very end. Start following me here. Hello. Oh. Why doesn't my wiper work? No, I made a mess of the windshield. That's okay. I get a few of the cows, they'll follow me. These portable windbreaks sure help a lot. Any of the cows starting to follow? Might have to just call them. Come on, cows! Snuck into the Come on, cows! Kind of an indication that I think that the cows might be hungry because they're all kind of going all over the field. I think that they want food there. Normally, the, we don't have any grass that's exposed this time of the year, but uh, we've had such a mild winter that uh, we don't have very much snow. And there, uh, three a few days ago, it was all brown out here. Come on, cows! I just might have to go here slowly. Hey, you little sneaker. Why doesn't these wipers work in this truck? I'm gonna drive ahead here. So this is where all the bales were all this uh, winter. You can see all the manure that's on the ground. So as the cows have been here, you can see that their tracks are here. I uh, wish... So maybe we'll get some of the cows, they'll make their way here. 
it'll be the last time that they'll be on here for grazing then we'll put them on this side here and this should last me about a month yet so that's going to bring me into end of uh so that's going to bring me into the end of march and then uh, we'll have to start feeding which isn't too bad it's uh have to feed for about six weeks oh the cows are coming <laughs> cows are coming So a little bit of history of this farm. This farm has been, this piece of land has been in our, our family for 121 years. No, I'm wrong. Not 121 years. It's uh, 1907 when my grandfather came here. He planted that tree over there. And uh, I think after that, I believe my uncle lived here for a little while and uh, then they moved out of here. Check the chickens, see, pick some eggs up in there, and uh, then I think I'm gonna go and uh, go work on a tractor. I got paperwork that needs to happen in the house where it's nice and warm, but it's also warm in the shop too. And uh, there's a couple of things I wanna get done with the tractor. I would like to uh, get the uh, head bolted down and I'd like to get the oil pan on. And if I feel that energetic, I might even get the injectors. I'm gonna see how that all goes, I'm not sure. Paperwork, and uh, I don't mind doing the paperwork. It's, uh, paperwork is something that needs to be done, but also when it is done, it kind of gives you a sense of accomplishment that uh, I like seeing where our numbers are. And I'll give an example, what are we paying for fuel? We're paying, uh, we get fuel brought to the yard uh, probably three times a year. Um, Normally, I like getting fuel uh, right before the uh, road restrictions come in because uh, then, uh, you know, the trucks can don't make a mess of the roads and uh, also before the end of the year and then we need to get fuel uh, when we're uh, making hay as well. Well, we're going to have nice grass uh, growth over there where all that manure is. Head out to the chicken coop here pick up the eggs because uh, a day like today the eggs will freeze pretty quickly because it is it's showing on the truck minus 25 this pail is here It's a little chilly. So a few days ago, there was water sitting here. Now it's frozen. And this is what a February should look like. And now what we'll do is we're gonna go and take the my big coveralls off. We're gonna put the my lighter ones on. We're gonna do some work in the shop. Okay. So anyways, we're gonna put everything back. It should be sitting nicely here. Just gonna do it nice and snug. We're gonna make sure that the threads catch first. To the literature book. There is a sequence that we need to be uh, tightening these bolts. I've got them here on a diagram. So what I need to do is I need to go one, two. So we got to start from the middle. I believe it's one, two, and three, and then four. And we got to do that to 110 foot pounds. Okay. 
Okay. Now number two. Last one would be 26. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is uh, torque it up to 165 pounds. And same thing, we're going to start off one, two, and then do, do the whole sequence again. Okay. Actually, I did double check them again. We did 165 pounds. Tighten up all the head bolts here. I think we're good to go. And uh, just check these valves here. I'm not sure how to adjust them. Slowly, slowly getting her back in. So the head is on, it's bolted down. Now I gotta find the space in between the rock by the on the rocker arm, I think they call the tappets. It's gotta be a little bit of a space in here. I don't know how much. This one looks like it's so good. This one I don't have anything. I think I'm at top center, which means the front piston, number one, is right at the very top. I need a feel air gauge now. I uh, know that there's one in this shop someplace, but I don't know where it is. It's probably got a lot of age on it, and I'm just trying to think where it could be. It's got to be in here someplace. So I'm going to town today. I'm going to go pick one up. And uh, we'll leave that project for now, and uh, we'll get back at it tomorrow. All right, well, anyways, we'll see you later. Hey, well, welcome back. I'm on another project here. I'm working on the Impala. And I thought I resolved the issue, but this thing is making a lot of noise again. Got on a highway yesterday, and it hasn't stopped, so... So anyways, I'm going to take this hub off and uh, we're going to put the other one on. Uh, let me put another support on here. Just give me a little more extra help. Okay. Everything's kind of clean. I took it, uh, made a couple hundred kilometers uh, on it yesterday. So let's go get at it. So I just took the brake caliber off and I got this and I'm just going to try something here. That shouldn't... Shouldn't make that much noise. So we're going to take that off and put the other bearing on. Uh, I thought the brake caliber was the issue, but this is what's going on. It shouldn't even be making that kind of noise. So we're going to pop this off and we're going to put the very expensive one on. This is one of the cheaper ones. So anyways, uh, I took this one off. And um, I'll get my money back on it, which is, because I've got a one year warranty on them. Not sure why it went, but it did. Maybe if I was driving on roads that uh, didn't have gravel, mud, and dirt. I got a new one. It's supposed to be twice the money. Now let's see what this thing makes for a noise. hurting myself okay that doesn't make any noise now so that one was new so we will uh, The 
there was spark that came from there. <laughs> ah. What's the odds of hitting the cord? Ah. Anyways, so we're going to put this on now. And uh, I'm going to take the other one back. Well, anyways, that's just the way it goes. Because uh, too bad I didn't have the camera with me yesterday. It was, yeah, I had to turn the radio up to uh, hear what I was listening to. I know it was only, uh, it was farm related stuff. You guys might think it would be boring, but uh, if you guys ate today, thank a farmer. Okay, I got everything tightened up, nicely snugged up here. So I'm good to go. Okay. All right, I think we got that thing fixed, I hope, for the future by quality bearings. I don't like going through this. I've spent too much time on this already. And I could have been working on other stuff. Anyways, I'm a farmer. I guess I'm a mechanic too. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put everything away. I'm gonna take that old bearing. I did keep the box to the old one there and we'll put this one away and we're we'll send it back more work on my plate today now i'm gonna have a calf by the time i get home do the chores in the yard hopefully should have a calf and then i'll bring the calf home and the cow home as well put them up in the corral there and they can uh be in a little better place. At least it's not that cold today. Let's go get that calf cow out of here. I hope she's not wild. Well, I got some hay here. And, uh, yeah. I had a lot of excitement to do here a while ago. Just brought a cow and a calf in. Anyway, the calf is in here. Brought some feed for her. Stay inside over here. Hey ladies. What are you doing? <laughs> I should not be between you and you. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Man, you are a nice calf. You're beautiful. Okay, you're handsome. You're handsome. Yeah, you're a handsome calf. I'm sorry for calling you pretty. I'm not gonna hurt your baby. But you could hurt me. Uh, <laughs> I need to get on the other side here. The cow is just feeling, she's being a little bit more protective because of her calf. Don't blame her. I'm not going to hurt her calf. I'm not going to hurt her. Okay, you're a 
Cutie. Well lit there. Let me get out of there. Out. Out. Okay. Well, the cow can stay over here for the night. She can go inside the barn. Gizmo. I'll leave him alone. You are. You know, me. I don't want to get too friendly with you. 